Hello everyone, we have covered white, blue, black, red and green and we are going to review the gold cards, the artifacts and the lands in this section of the March of the Machine for Limited. And uh, let's get started. Just a reminder, all the cards with this little symbol are, uh, I don't know how they're called, they are the mystical archives uh, scrolls, uh, legends, whatever, and there's one of each in each pack. Multiverse legends. So they come a little differently in packs, and I don't know how it's gonna impact the overall draft experience, and it's kinda hard to say before actually playing the set. But let's get started with these, these spicy cards. So, so far we haven't really seen a lot of, of fixers. So, they are common. We have all the 10 tap lands gain a life from, I think it was Cans of Tarkir. So you might have to, you might have to uh, pick them quite early if you want to be able to draft or to play the the legends you want the multicolor legends you want so i would probably rate them b plus each of them and i would say i'm pretty sure some some strategies are going to be about trying to play as many of them and as many of the the broken gold cards it's been a strategy in some other bomb oriented or gold oriented uh, sets so I'm going to put B plus on each of them just to not put them too low or too high, but I think they're going to be the center of some strategy. So keep these in mind. Uh, I think we're going to go over the artifacts quickly. So we, uh, we get, we get that out of the way. It's, it's one of my, Personal favorite, yes. Not in every, not in every set, but in some sets, yes. In uh, Dominary Remastered was my favorite thing, and also in Bro. All right, let's go. Invasion of Ravnica. It's not. It's colorless, not artifact. When Invasion of Ravnica enters the battlefield, exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls. That isn't exactly two colors. Okay. Four, okay, whenever you cast a spell, that's exactly two colors. We look at the top six cards of your library. You may reveal a card that's exactly two colors from among them and put it in your hand. Put the rest at the bottom, okay. This is very good. This is probably A plus. Uh, just because it's a five mana removal, op kills almost everything. And you kind of get the five five. Yeah, I think I think it's a plus. I think you pick this over literally everything. It's not Elish Norn or the others, but it's just so versatile. I don't think you take anything over this. And then you get also the like the five five if you manage to kill it. So yes, it's a good Necrotal. Yeah, I would give it a plus. Of a Lutri. I mean, Lutri could be A plus too. We'll see. I'm pre I don't know. I, th I mean, this is pretty good. Flywheel Racer. Hey, can activate if it is a creature. Ugh. So, this is a fixer. <sighs> That's like a spring lift drum. It's a spring leaf drum for two mana, basically. And you can't use it on the turn you play it. I think it's, is it a build around? You, do you need this? I mean, you're probably gonna play this uh, needed if uh, you splash. I would say B minus. And you need a few splash. 
Also, maybe if you ramp, this is prob if it's probably okay. That's a strange looking signet, that's for sure. Hallow Hopper. To make money, yeah, it's a big hoof to make money, it's true. 3 to Convoke. Well, this is pretty crappy. Rabbit. Uh, yeah, I would probably give it C minus. This is pretty shitty. Kite sail. That's a card I usually like. Free card. Yeah, it's not really exactly free. Zero mana three two. Yeah, nice. Uh, I like this card. I think it's it's gonna. It's gonna be a last pick, but some of the decks want one, and you're gonna lose to that card a lot. And some of the drafts are gonna be like, "Where's my kite sail? I need a kite sail in my deck," and you won't have it. Felix and archivist, but take your from a graveyard on the bottom. It's on a library. Uh, we had that one, and. Uh, it wasn't called Ferrix and Archivist. It was called something Archivist in Strixhaven. Was it the exact same one? Probably. <laughs> yes, probably. So let's put a C plus. It's six minus four five reach is okay, but it's not too exciting. He was not Ferrixian. Realm Breaker, the Invasion Tree. Target opponent, mill three cards, okay. Put the land card from their graveyard onto the battlefield, tab under your control, okay. It gains, if this land will leave the battlefield, exactly. okay, fine. Second rain like the invasion tree, search that'll be for any number of Praetor cards, put them onto the battlefield and shuffle. <laughs> yeah, that's not great. I guess it's not great. Raph will play this at least once as a win con. Yes. Most likely. I would say it's a C. You love this one. It's a good mill. But it's hard to play. Yeah, I kind of like it too. Yeah. I would say synergy, but it's not like maybe build around. Well, I would probably play this card at some point. Surveyor, Surveyor is A minus, I think, or actually A. It's one of the few, the few fixers gives you a card. Is it A minus or A? Probably A minus. I, I like this dude a lot. He's a beast. I'll give it an A. Okay, A minus. Urn of Godfire. This is kind of average, average low. Maybe B minus. Um, you need some stress if you're missing. Like if you're missing uh, fixers or. Come with Emery, yes. Well, even then, Emery is cost, cost a million. It just costs seven to do everything. Yeah. I think, is this one great? Equipped creature gets plus two, plus two, and has protection from blue and from black. Okay. Whenever equipped creature, creature deals combat damage to a player, so veil two. Then you may cast an instant or sorcery spell with menu two or less. Without paying it, I think this one's an A. It's an A because of the stats and the protection, but I don't think it's A plus. I was I was pretty disappointed by the by the other sword by the green red sword.
yeah, probably just A. Constructed might be good, but the sword's kind of kind of lost lost the hype. Yeah, still not great though. Surveltu is good. Let's give it an A. All right, let's go for these guys. Beral and Karizev. Three mana, two four for. So for these rares, for these gold cards, we either talk about picking it early, like if you build around, or you already are in these colors. Because if it's, and then if it's an A plus and you're in one of these two colors, the value of it, like A plus, will tell you how much you have to invest to splash it. If it's like A plus insane, like okay, you might have to go a little bit out of your way to figure out a way to, to play them. All right. Three mana, two, four, first strike menace. Okay, whenever you cast your first instant or sorcery spell each turn, you may cast a spell with lesser mana value. Choose a card type from it, from your hand without paying its casting cost, its mana cost. If you don't, create first mate Ragavan, a legendary 2-1 red monkey. Yeah, this is, this is okay, this is not great. This is not nuts, come on. It's good, it's not A+. A legendary monkey, it's legendary, so it stays, but... It's first strike menace, it's good. It's not A+. I understand. I understand how it works. It's good. I would say A or A minus. Probably A because it's still good value. I would not, not definitely not A plus. Bobo Rigmas and Football Tip. Whatever Bobo Rigmas and Football Tip into your battlefield or, or attack, draw a card. Then you may discard a number of land cards. When you discard one or more cards this way, Bubble Rig Moss and Fibble Tub deal twice that damage that to target creature. Yeah, this is super solid. The casting cost make it makes it a little uh, awkward, but this is probably a Is it better than A? It's hard to cast, but then then it's pretty good. Yeah, I, I think A is fine. It's not broken. It's good. It's not broken. Botanical brawler. Okay, it's about with two plus one. two two four two trample. Whenever the one or more. Uh, okay, this is not bad. It's a solid, solid white green card. I would say B plus, just because of the casting cost. Yeah, this is solid, solid card. To build this deck, the the play the canners, with the plus one cast plus one canners. Jeru and Hazaret, five mana, five four, double red and white. Okay. As long as you have one or few cards in hand, during Hazard, Vigilant Haste. Okay. Whenever they attack, look at the top six of your library. You may exile a legendary creature from among them. Put the rest at the bottom of your library in a random order. Okay. Uh, is this A minus? Gets obviously gets better if you have a lot of legends. Not sure how many legends you're gonna have. Uh, battles are not legendary. I think it's A minus or B plus. Probably B plus. Yeah, probably just B plus or B. It's kind of hard to cast, so let's do B plus. B plus seems 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 fair. It's yeah. Drana and Linvala, flying vigilance for four. Okay, activated abilities. 
of creatures you open control. Your opponent's control can't be activated. Well, this is probably an A. Flying Vigilance for 4. 3 4. Uh, both are fine, I think. I'll give it an A. Good card overall. Three mana, three three. Incubate two. Transform the token you control. Double number plus we're on it. A minus. Yeah, this one seems pretty good. Good value. Three mana, three three. Make a two two, and then you have something else. I like it. It's better than B plus, I think. Aront and Giada. Two, three, flash playing. Okay, you may look at the top card at any time. You may cast spell with flash. A minus, like flying flash is great. I think it's a gun, yeah. It looks like a gun. No, you cannot. If something's transformed, it's transformed forever. Yeah, I mean, looking at a top card at any time is it's pretty. Give it getting extra information is pretty good. Flash, like the second ability, is not going to do that much, but it's still okay. Good stats. Two, three, flying flash. Maybe B plus. I think it's close, but. I think it's a pretty sweet card. Galta and Maverin. 7 mana, 12, 12. Uh, oh, flying or flat? What? You may play flying creatures? Oh, we saw or flying. Okay, then, then it's definitely A minus. Okay, yeah, it's, it's a good card. Creature tap attacking XX. Dinosaur with trample. It's the greatest power um, on other attacking creatures, okay. Create X11 vampires, okay. How good is this? Seven mana. Probably a B. It's the nuts? Is it the nuts? It's hard to cast. I would say B plus. Like when you see it in a pack, like, okay, I have this, I have to play white green. Sure. Probably A minus, it's so hard to cast. It doesn't have any way to protect itself. Okay, A minus, I guess. First pick rating, yeah. A's are first picks. Come on, okay. Glissa is back again. Five mana, three five. Okay. Uh, I mean, if you come on your turn, incubate two twice. Okay. Incubate okay, tokens you control, fixing you control in the first turn. That's what. Okay, this is this is better than A, I think. So you play it, and then you get two tokens right away. Yeah, it might be IE plus actually. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 insane. So you basically have two turns to kill it, otherwise you're dead. Yeah, okay, yeah, this card is great. Okay, fine. Fine. I'll A plus it. Hello Forager. 3 1 flying. And you may pay X. Okay, when you do, you may cast target instant. For you, man, yeah. It's fine, it's a B plus. Three one flying for three. Could do something. Yeah, I don't think it's better than that. Costs a lot of mana. He did two in Kyrie. Who's Kyrie? I forgot who Kyrie was. It's a demon. No, it's a. Oh, that's the blue dragon? That's the blue dragon. 
It's 17 lands. Kyrie, the, the swirling sky. It's this dude. When students carry enter the battlefield, draw three cards, then put two cards from your hand on top of your library. Okay. When Itsugu and Kairi die, and Kairi dies, Kairi dies, exile the top card of your library. Tired of losing its life, got to expand a value. If it's an instant sorcery card, you may cast it without paying its mana. Okay. Uh, that's good, I guess. Draw three cards, put two on top. Like you play it, you have a 5-4, you draw a card, you brainstorm. Yeah, I mean that's A, I would say. Hard to cast, but this this is pretty good value. Yeah, it's, it's great. No, no, it's good, it's very good. Because you can try Vigilance and had one man of any color. Okay, spend his mana only to cast a creature spell. Okay, whenever you cast a creature spell, if three or more mana, from You draw a card. Hmm. It's probably fine. It's probably A minus. Vigilance. Yeah, I think. Yeah, you probably just vigilance and the mana. Yep. Probably A. It's good, good body and pretty relevant ability. So you play her, you attack vigilance, and then you do something else. I think it's it's a solid card, yep. Them, okay. Sure. I mean, I was talking about the cat in the front. You play her. The female cat in the front. Invasion of Alara. Yeah, that sounds great. When Invasion of Alara enters the battlefield, exile a card from the top of your library until you exile two non-land cards with mana value four or less. Okay, so you cascade four twice, kind of. You may cast one of those two cards without paying its mana cost. Put one of them into your hand, then put the other cards exiled this way on the bottom of your library in a random order. So, okay, so la merde. Okay, all colors. Target player draws two cards. You may put an artifact card from your hand to battlefield. You could take a copy of. Yeah, that's it's not playable. Yeah. I'm, I'm not even gonna read the rest. Like, seven doesn't do anything. Fine. <laughs> bye bye. If I lose to that, I'll read it, but right now I don't want to read it. <laughs> and as battlefield, each player mill three cards. Then each opponent discards a card and you draw a card. Uh, each player mills three cards. Then each opponent discards a card and you draw a card. Okay. Not bad. For three mana. Wow, for three mana they discard your draw. You and four, you may have last step convert. And the buff has a copy of any creature card in the graveyard except it's a 4 4 zombie. I think that's a solid card. You, they discard, you draw, and you get a dude. So maybe. I like it. I think it, it's, it's solid. For 3 mana. There was, there was, what was the name of that card in Ravnica? In one of the Ravnica sets. Like you would put, bring it back when you cast. Uh, when you surveil, it was the same thing. They discard you draw, and when you surveil, this in <laughs> exactly it's spelled exactly that way. Disinformation campaign. Disinformation campaign. Yes, that was a bogle. <laughs> Invasion of Asgol. When Invasion of Asgol enters the battlefield, target player sacrifices creature or planeswalker and lose one life. Okay, two one menace. At the beginning of your end step, put plus one plus one. Uh, if a permanent was put into graveyard from the battlefield this turn, that's not bad. That's not that bad. Creature or planeswalker. It's a B plus two mana edict for red and black. Probably like B plus. It's not that great edicts are not fantastic and four could be bad with the tokens maybe just be 
It's hard to cast Edict and the zombie is not actually dead. Fantastic. You don't, you're probably never attacking it. It'll probably just be. Invaders of Ergamon. When Invasion of Ergamon enters the battlefield, create a treasure token. Then you may discard a card. If you do, draw a card. Okay. Cool. Two minus five. Okay. When True Cliff Charger enters the battlefield, you may discard a card. If you do, survive for third for a land or battle card. Put it in your hand and shuffle. That's not great. You get a token, but it's like two mana for a token and the discard. And five is a lot to attack. Yeah, this this is not great. Yeah. No, the, the, the invasion of, of Alara was a lot worse. C minus, maybe D plus. If you need the treasure badly... Yeah, something like that. It looks pretty bad, yeah. Invasion of Kaladesh. When you're in Kaladesh into the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one, Thopter with flying. Two mana, one with flying, okay. The stat, yeah. Put away the slash, that's a good idea. Okay, then this dude, how good is this guy? Uh, Golden Ski flagship power is called Number of Artifacts You Control. This is not great. We haven't seen that many any artifacts actually. It's probably a B minus. Like just two better one one dude. Like you never want to attack into this. She might be a C plus. That's hard to cast and that's pretty shitty actually. Yeah, you never want to have this. So I would give it a C plus. Sure. In Vishim, kill him. Kill him. Use the battlefield up to two target creatures. You can turn plus two, plus two, plus two, plus zero in vigilance in haste until end of turn. For four mana. Create two, three, two red and white warriors creature tokens with whenever this creature and at least one other creature token attacks. Okay. That that's that's kind of bad. Yeah, that's not great. I would give it like C, four mana, sorcery speed plus two plus zero. Haste doesn't do anything. Now this is a bad one. Like these are these are pretty bad. I think. Like these don't do much when they come into play, and then they cost a million to flip, and then the payoff is not even that good. Yeah, I would I would give a C. Invasion of Lorwyn. Yeah, I guess. I guess you're right. Yeah, I mean. Ah, oh, yeah, on the play, I could see that. Could be sick on the play, actually. Or maybe not. They just block one of your one of your attackers, and nothing happens. And then you put th three or four damage on it, and then you kind of wasted the card and one of your creatures. No, that's that's pretty bad. No, no, I, I think I stick to that. Invasion of Lorwyn. Six mana. The battlefield destroyed a non elf creature and opponent control with power X or less, X the number of lands you control. Okay. It's okay. Say B or B minus. Costs a lot of mana. I don't even think that's that good. It's a six mana removal, basically. That could turn into this. Have the set. Non-elf creatures. What? What? What are you talking about? No, non-elf. That's more than half the set. Not all creatures are elves. 
than not a lot of elves. Yeah, I guess B B minus, and that's generous. I think it's very expensive. Invasion of Morg. When Invasion of Morg enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. Okay. Five at the beginning of your end step, put a plus one on tiger creature you control. I think this could be good in the right deck. I think it's synergy and build around. Like you have all these like double the canners. That could be good. If you have a small uh in go wide. Yeah. Best in go wide strats. Up. Better in go wide. Sorry. Better in go wide strats. Okay. Invasion of Nukapina. When you make a enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice an artifact or creature. When you do exile target artifact or creature, in a, okay. An artifact or creature you control. Okay, whenever you should attack, you put some swan on that creature and each other creature control a chair creature type with it. That's not exciting. Is the C plus? Like the payoff is pretty shitty. You probably never play that. And do you want to get the other one? Somewhat excited? Like it's uh, sacrifice a creature, kill a creature. I don't know. Four seems like a lot. It's, I guess it's B minus, just because you can't kill anything. The casting cost is pretty uh, pretty bad. I mean, it's a gold card, and what it does is not actually that good. You need a creature, you need to, maybe an incubation token. I'm not excited by this card. Invention of new Phyrexia. X mana, whenever it enters the battlefield, create X token. Yeah, okay, well that's already A plus. And then for six, you get to fairy. Draw two cards and discard two cards unless you discard a creature card. Okay. You get an emblem plus one. <laughs> okay. Tap X creatures you control. When you do shuffle target permanent and open control. Yeah, well, that's like just this part is already insane. Okay, well, that's probably probably A plus. Yeah, let's keep it at A+. Plus. Invasion of Pirulea. Invasion of Pirulea enters the battlefield, scry 3. Then reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land or double face card... Oh, that's the double face card thing. Draw a card. Uh, scry 3, then reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land or double face card, draw a card. Okay. And 4. Trimmer War 2, other transform pattern you control have. I like this one. This one is is pretty sweet. Uh, it's uh, what is it? What's the name? The Oracle. But just cry three, so you basically always get what you want. A double face card or a land. Well, Oracle, you would put it in play. Oh, maybe it's not that good. If it's a land or double face card, like the 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 dude is a four four for two mana, so it's not it's. I like it. I like it. Draw a card. And you scry three. Yeah, I, I. There's a lot of things to discard. I'll B plus it. Invasion of Tolvada. Invasion of Tolvada enters the battlefield. Return to its non battle permanent from your graveyard to the battlefield. Five man. Okay. And five. Creatures, creature tokens you control get plus one plus zero and have lifelink. Okay. You end step creature white one white black token with flying. Okay. Well that's pretty good. Return target non battle permanent from a graveyard to your bear from your graveyard. 
It's a good reanimator spell. Is it a B plus or, B or A minus? Probably B plus. It's unlikely. We can return Cycler. Okay, fine. You got me there. A minus. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's that's good point. You return the 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 shade. We gotta rank up the shade a little bit because uh, it it could be an A minus, like Shipia said. Not the shade, but the. No, not this guy. Where was it? Where did I put it? How is it called? How was it called? Should we Icor Drinker? No. No, no, Gargantua, no. No. They put a B. Ah. Right, that's a better idea. Oh, here. Smaller. Let's put it B. Okay, let's put it A minus. Fine. Fine. You got me, Shipia. Invasion of Xerix. And as Xerix enters the battlefield, return up to one target creature to it on his end. Okay, and then four. It's probably a B or B minus. Four mana, four mana, bounce a card, and then you have a 2 2 flying or a 3 3 flying. Yeah, B minus seems better. Joyful Storm Sculptor. Feels like these these games are gonna be very long. This is about Victory 2, 1 1 blue creature. Okay, whenever you cast a spell that casts Convoke, deals 1 to each. That seems pretty shitty. What is it? B minus? C plus? And 5 mana 2 3 with 2 1 1s? And it's not like you have a million convoke cards. Even if you do, what's, what's the. It's not even that good. Yeah, C plus, and that's also being pretty generous. 6 mana 7 7, okay. In Strample and Haste, it fights like creature you don't control. This card, Kogla, destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment. Shuffle Kogla into your. Then draw a card. Okay, this is A, plus, right? This is hard to count, but 7 7, kill a creature, and even if you don't have the mana, you, deal, you do anything, you can destroy artifact or enchantment. And draw a card. This is this is this is amazing. This card is is something too. Holy shit! Yep. Up to one, yeah. Yeah, well, not sure I would do that, but yeah, that seems great. Kraxa and Kunoros. Vigilance menace lifelink for six mana. And then Kunoros the battlefield on it or attacks. You make that five cards from your graveyard. When you do return a creature f card from your graveyard to the battlefield. It's mythic. It's a big card, I would say 6, because it's a lot of mana. Hard to cast, but then has a lot of abilities. 6-6, six, six, Vigilance, Menace, Lifelink. And could bring something back. Yeah, I would give it an A. Giant, giant Elder Dog. But the knights get plus one plus one. Tap another target creature. That's that's a solid, yeah, that's a solid creature. A minus, or like maybe B plus synergy. Build around. Well, it's obviously better when you have lords, when you have creatures. Mirror Shield Hope Light. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Vigilance. Whenever a creature you control becomes tired of a backup ability, copy that ability. It means you do have a disability, this will be only two at once. Oof. 
same i think it's b plus synergy like if you can have these guys oof, this could be this could be much better yeah i like it i like it a lot i mean on its own it's not great but mutagen connoisseur nice for each transform permanence, playing vigilance. <laughs> what is it? C plus. And likely to be great. It's a good wall. It's like a two five. I guess C plus. Not excited. Omnath. If you, if you learn, okay, it becomes black instead. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase. Look at the top card of your library. You may reveal that card if you have three or more colored mana symbols in its mana cost. Okay. If you do, if you don't reveal it, put it into your hand and draw a card. Is this playable? Probably not, otherwise you draw a card each turn. It's not playable. We'll play it once. Low master. At the beginning of your end step, exalt a non-creature non land from from your graveyard. Could a 3 2 white spirit. Okay, not bad. Save for a spirit. Choose target card, exalt with Kintorius. You may cast that card this turn without paying its mana cost. If that's about. What? Non creature, non land. This is, this is pretty solid. I wouldn't go for to go. I wouldn't. Yeah, is it A plus? This is this is pretty good. Okay, A A A to A plus. Yeah, it's close. I think. Rampage, ramp, rampaging geoderm three two four four trample haste. When you attack, the attacking creature get plus one plus one to end of turn. If it's attacking a battle, it's all right. It's Find stats. 4-4 four, four, trample haste. B plus, I'd say. Still small. I would put like I wouldn't be surprised if it was like 4-4 four, four with a plus one plus one. Rankel and Torbran. Turlupin and Torbran. Flying. First strike haste, okay? Yeah. So would you do would you put the the extra thing? Would you put it A plus with Kintorius? One rank and turbine deals combat damage to a player. Choose any number. Each player creates treasure, you sacrifice a creature, if you so deal damage to a player this turn. It's hard to cast with man. Choose any number? Wow. This is A, right? It's hard to cast, but... You don't love the effects? I mean, flying first strike haste for five is pretty good. Then creature treasure is pretty good. Each percent sacrifice a creature, that's pretty good. So with deal damage, that's not that great, but... Yeah, but it's still, it's still pretty solid. Sculpted Perfection. Incubate to friction, you control like plus one. Flexible. I guess it's a, this one is a build around. I would say it's a B, it's a B plus build around. Which is good. Rank Eldred, B minus, which is better than B. 
Yeah, I guess like incubate two is not great. Yeah, I, I guess yeah, sure. It's a three three four six, right? Okay, I get it. <laughs> Fine. Maybe synergy, more synergy than build around. You like it? Well, it's you, we add a little thing to it. Storkle Rager, 2-2, two, two. save another creature or artifact, put the plus one plus one, uh, and draw a card, if you only have a sorcery. This is not bad, it's actually pretty good. Uh, B plus, because you, you draw a card either way. Like, it doesn't matter if, if they kill it in response, you still draw a card. Yeah, I like it. Maybe just B. Can activate infinite times? Not really. You cannot activate it infinite times. Yeah, but I like it. Yeah, this one, this one is good. Thalia and the G Trunk Monster. First strike Dust Touch. This is better than Reach and Dust Touch. And Reach and Trample. Spend national land on each on each of your turn. Creatures are and non-basic lands. You open control. Enter the enter the battlefield tapped. Okay. Okay, this is this is pretty insane. Is this A plus? Can you beat this? Creature and non-basic land you control. <sighs> This is this is A plus, right? Because of the cost, yeah. But man, this is Yeah, yeah, right. But like first strike does touch. For four mana, four four, jeez. I don't know, yeah, this is this seems this seems better than A. This is hard to cast, but jeez, that's Yeah, this is I think this is too good. I think this is A plus. Yeah, this is this is pretty insane. Is this a lot better than Galissa? I mean, this is this is hard to beat. This is kind of hard to beat. Is it? I mean, Galissa was an A plus, right? Was Galissa A plus? Yeah, Glissa was A+. Plus. I think, yeah, it was A+. Plus. I think they're at the same power level. They're both, they're both insane. Okay, Yargol and Multani. Yeah, well, this, this is kind of irrelevant. Six mana, big. In B+. Plus. It doesn't really matter how big they are. Kite sail, sure. Oh. Still B plus. Zimon and Dina. Whenever you draw your second card this turn, tie it up and lose two life and you gain two. Okay. Sacrifice so another creature, draw a card. You may put a land card from your hand. On the battlefield tapped. If you if you dispose it once. Oh I haven't checked that yet. This is not great. Is it mythic? That's okay, I guess. It's A minus. You put land. Probably A minus. It's not fantastic. It's fine. It's good stats and you get to, yeah. You have to do it on your turn. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to make it work. It's going to be hard to make it work. So I would say A minus. Check Yargal, okay, Yargal. And Multani. I've heard much about you from my daughter, Multani Rumble. There was a time when I'd balk at your aid, Phantom, but she has shown me the merit in Urborg's strange ways. Ribbit. Nice. <laughs> Cute. 
All right, this should go pretty pretty fast now. Oh no, Zurgo and Ujutai. Five mana, four for flying haste, okay? As long as it's entered the battlefield this turn. So first hit is free. Whenever one or more dragon you control the damage, com combat damage your player or battle, look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and direct the bottom of your library in any order. You may return one of those dragons. Oh, what? Yeah, okay, this is... This is You may return one of those dragons to your hand. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, this is this is pretty insane. Yeah, I see. Okay. Agar, not that good here. We don't have a lot of giants. Probably B minus. Yeah, maybe C plus. Maybe B minus. Not great. And is dealt extent if a giant or spell you control that I just enjoy a card. I guess you have some ways to use it. I guess B. Now B is probably fine. There's like six mana spell. This one's not too bad. I don't remember that card. That was that was what that one was an EDH card, right? The Belfort with Ta okay. I have no idea how good this card is. A slammer counter on it, it's a land. It's the B, it's the B plus. It's a four mana land. Well that 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 gives two mana and then it becomes a 12-12. It's kind of a land, no it does not. I don't think it's I think yeah, it's probably a B plus or an A minus. I mean, it's a good, it's a good ramp. B plus, yeah, B plus probably. Atraxa. Atraxa is probably what, a D, because it's so hard to play. Proliferate is, uh, Proliferate is gonna be great, but so hard to cast. Atraxa is good. Yeah, let's to put it that way. Yeah, Atris is great. Atris is A. We know this one from before. Already at the War Leader. Attack for first time on top. Yeah, this one is also an A. This is an A plus, this one. Yeah, A. It's hard to cast as well. But this is pretty sweet. Which one is this one? Broody Cloud, I've never seen this dude. At the beginning of combat on your turn, create a, plus, a, one, a 2 1 blue Phyrexian mirror token. Then you may choose a token you control if you do. So you can, you can, you can call you that token. What? Okay, it's at least an A. Token you control. Yeah, this is pretty good. Well, A. Dina. Dina is okay, it's a B plus. Although it's not like you we have a lot of uh gain life for each open no actually actually it's just a B or B minus. You don't gain that much life. Yeah, not sure about Dina. Azuri, four mana four four, whenever a creature with power two or less enters the battlefield. You control, you get an experience scanner. Okay. You have your combat on your chin, puts X plus another target creature you control. Yeah, this is pretty good. A. Takes a while to get started, but it's pretty efficient. A minus, I think it's it's better than A minus. Or maybe because it's so hard to play, you say? It's a bit slow. Zuri. Sure.
Fire song and song, a song speaker. Yay, sure, sure, I get it, I get it. So we, okay. Whenever a white instant sorcery cat, you can, a white instant sorcery cause you to gain life. This is what B, build around. This is a build around from what? It's B plus build around. Probably. B minus, sure, B minus, build around. Sounds good. Firja. I don't know. Well, this is still a build around. Firja, we know about. Uh, this one was good. I think it was a B plus. It's so hard to cast. That's a good card, hard to cast. Grimgrin, oh, I love this one. Uh, however, I don't think we've seen that many zombies or things that came back. Tapped, and yeah, I don't think it's that good in here. Uh, sacrifice, uh, it's, it was, it used to be good. So maybe A minus. Oh, it does nothing to do with zombies. Oh, it's, it used to, no, it doesn't need a zombie, I forgot, I, I was, I messed it up. For A, I guess the Grim Grin is actually pretty good, yeah. So I'm gonna kill something, yeah. Okay, yeah, A is probably fine. Giruda, it's definitely a build around. And, and what? It's still okay. Giruda A plus, it's not an A plus. It's probably an A. Timothy. What? Celebrant of Bounty. Cascade. S spells you cast with what you have. Oh, great, I have Cascade. 31. I have no idea. Why is it all weird? Pff, I think it's just B. Three one for five, cascade for five. It seems pretty bad. I guess B plus. I don't know, I don't wanna know. Probably B plus. This is hard to hard to evaluate. Giganta, Giganta was good. Giganta was good. Um, was it A? Kind of free. Free spell. Personally, I love the companions. I guess still A, I think. It's still, still a good card. Judith. Judith was good. So probably A minus. have to put them in, in your deck. That is true as well. Yeah, Judas was great. Jury. Ah, that's the EDH one. This one is fine. It's probably a build around as well, but it's not as good. Probably a B minus, probably even a C plus, because it's, it's in common. Yeah, let's put a C plus on Jury. Kahira. Kahira is probably not great. Kahir is what a C plus build around. Like you won't, you will never have the. It's gonna be hard to have the the requirement for this. So probably build around C plus. Only manos. Kiruga okay, Macro Sage. Build around, but this one is probably a B or a B plus. Because you'll probably play to draw a card or two. Then it's a hippo. Croxa. Croxa used to be okay, right? Not insane. Croxa is a B plus. I mean if you play the right the right colors. Probably B plus. How good was Croxa? I don't remember it being that good. I mean, if they mill you that that's pretty sweet. Maybe A minus. 
Should I just put a minus? The, the being of each end step, if you gain life, this turn distribute up to that many plus one plus one. I've never seen this card before. Four mana? That seems kind of weak. Probably C. Like it's so hard to yeah, build around, but C otherwise. Lurus. Lurus. Uh, well, Lurus is actually pretty good, so it's probably A or A plus. It doesn't matter if you don't play it. Yeah, but still, it's still an A. I mean, you still play it. Yep. Lutri. Well, you probably just play it. It's also build around. You don't want to have too many of these, of the like of each creature, each card, so you can actually play it. Yep, Lutri A plus, probably A plus. It's not that great, but it's kind of free to play. So I would actually say it's just A, A or A plus, because this I. Everybody said Lucci was the best companion. I don't think it's actually the best. Because it's I think there are cards that take over Lutri. There are a lot of cards that take over Lutri. I take some A's over Lutri. Yeah, Yorin was it was insane. Uh, yeah, there's Yorian, good. Niv is at reborn. Pff, that's probably unplayable. Obosh. Obosh was great. I, I kinda liked Obosh. I don't think you build around it. It's not. It's not, you know, that game breaking. If a Rada Coalition Warrior becomes tapped and the target creature you control gets plus six plus six. Yeah, well, that's the. Yeah, that's probably a, a B. Not great, maybe minus, but B minus, yeah. Raph, we know this one. This is probably a B plus. It's me, it's Ref. Probably a B plus. Wrath with an F, that's Ref. This one I don't know. Whenever a creature you control that's enchanted or equipped attacks, that creature gains double strike until end of turn. With this, let me see here, so. so that's C, C build around. Yeah, probably. B. I don't know. This is like the build arounds are hard to rate. Fine, B minus. Rona. Um, this one's okay. B. It's kind of hard to cast. It's not fantastic. Uh, Sissy. Oh, that's the. This is not this is not good. This is B minus, I think. Oh just B. It's a fine car, but not as great. Not great. There's no go white strategies, it feels. So probably just B minus. Yeah, probably just B minus or C plus. Oh time. Instant sorry and dragon spells you could try. I don't remember that one. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell from your hand. Attack this turn, this spell gets rebound. Rebound, you play it, you basically replay it next turn. What is it? B plus. A plus what? What? 
What do you mean B plus, A plus? It's not A plus. It needs to be around. Like if you attack and it dies, then you... Uh, when it waits. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell from your hand. How does that work? If it dies, does it still... It doesn't work. It needs to be around, right? If you have a sorcery and it dies during, during combat, it doesn't trigger. So it doesn't work. I would say B plus, I guess. I don't think it's I don't think it's A. Like white blue does not have these instant removal. Taysa Karlov. If a creature dying triggers creature tokens. I guess it could be a build around, but otherwise it's kind of bad. It's B minus. Frost breath. Yeah. Well, if you have the forest breath, that's good. Umori. Umori was good, right? Oh yeah, it was bad with Afterlife. No, Taysa was not bad with Afterlife. Are you kidding me? The 1-1 one, one life linkers? Yeah, maybe Taysa is actually worse here. What did I put it? B minus? Yeah, it has to be worse. I guess Umori. Mori is actually pretty good. Probably A, probably not build around. So hard to, to build with this. Yarok. Yeah, Yarok was good. This with with the um, with what? Bust what is it? Busted. Not busted, but is it A? A build around? Death Touch Lifeling is good. When I read Giruda, I think A. I don't think I I I, I give gave it A plus. Yeah. Synergy, right? You think Giruda should be more than A? Zerda is pretty bad, I think. So that is a B or something. You can't build around that guy. That's just impossible. Well, I just put build around just in case, but I, th I don't think you can. Zerda is banned. Was it Bands of Fox? Jorion? I think it's Jorion. Is it A plus? Probably not. Probably Jorion is just A, right? Yes, as uh, like such a trap. I love the Orion. Man, Sam Black doesn't even need the Orion to play 60 card decks. <laughs> and here we have it the full set reviewed. Well, this set seems a lot as in better as in. A lot less fillers than one and a lot more synergy between each color and each combination. A lot less bad cards in the in the in the packs at the end, I think. That will make for like better games, I think. Better draft decks. But also the rares are pretty powerful. So the most powerful set. Some of the rares are very powerful. Yep. So maybe it's going to be too powerful. Uh, we'll see that next week, I think. Tell us what you think about the set in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you another time for another video. Bye.